hello students welcome to sitaram ias online coaching so let's start may first 100 questions so the first question is do all the member countries in the european union have common tariffs yes second question what are nordic countries so the countries are a geographical and cultural regions in the northern europe and north atlantic third question what is the look west policy look west policy is the indian government strategy in dealing with the west asian nations it was adopted by the indian government in 2005 now the fourth question is what are the five nordic countries so the five nordic countries are denmark norway sweden finland and iceland fifth question what is the objective of raisina dialogue So the Raisina Dialogue is India's premier conference on geopolitics and geoeconomics committed to addressing the most challenging issues facing the global community. Sixth question which countries launched a green and sustainable development partnership India and Germany. Okay it is India and Germany who launched green and sustainable development partnership recently in in the month of April. Now seventh seventh question: What is India Germany intergovernmental consultations based on? So the consultations will focus on global security policy issues, deepening of bilateral relations, and common efforts to tackle the climate crisis. Now the eighth question is: What is COP twenty six? So the two thousand twenty one. United Nation Climate Change Conference is commonly referred to as COP26 that is Conference of Parties 26 so it was the 26th United Nation Climate Change Conference held in Glasgow in Scotland that is in United Kingdom now ninth question is what is a heat wave The heat wave is a period of abnormally high temperatures more than the normal maximum temperature that occurs during the summer season in the northwestern parts of India not only in northwestern parts of India but many parts of the world heat wave is been experienced recently so the heat waves typically occur between march and june and in some rare cases even extend till july so if this is in the context of india but whereas in uh, all all around the globe we have different months which experience different types of heat waves okay now the 10th question is what is meant by cross border terrorism cross border terrorism is when one country is used to create terror or engage in terrorism against its neighboring countries across the border india is a victim of cross border terrorism whose source is pakistan 11th question what is green ammonia the ammonia is a pungent gas that is widely used to make agricultural fertilizers green ammonia production is where the process of making ammonia is 100% renewable and carbon free 12th question what are the uses of green ammonia energy storage hydrogen carrier that is whenever hydrogen is required it can be cracked and hydrogen can be generated this is generated from the green ammonia okay now it reduces the cost of hydrogen transportation and it is used for storing energy in fuel cells now the 13th question is what is meant by climate resilience so climate resilience is the ability to anticipate prepare for and respond to hazardous events trends or disturbances related to climate <clears throat> 14th question is climate resilience one of the aspects of the recently signed indo german partnership yes 15th question what is the main objective of indo indo german partnership it is green and sustainable development 16th question what is the aim of the bonn convention so it is also known as the convention on the conservation of migratory species of wild animals it aims to conserve terrestrial marine and avian migratory species throughout their range 17th question what is bonn challenge so the bonn challenge is a global effort to bring 150 million hectares of degraded and deforested land into restoration by 2020 and 350 million hectares land 
by 2030. 18th question, what is the main objective of Comprehensive Mitigation and Mobility Partnership, CMMP? So it is one of the important aspects of the India-Germany intergovernmental consultations. So this will facilitate the large number of Indian students of uh, to study and work in Germany to facilitate movement of Indian professionals and lead to larger trade and augmentation of digital partnership. 19th question, what is the capital of Denmark? It is Copenhagen. 28th question, what are the common political features of India and Denmark? So there are two common political features. One is values of democracy are same and Rule of law is same in both India and Denmark. Now the 21st question, in which article rule of law is mentioned in the constitution of India? It is mentioned under article 13. 22nd question, what are green industries? So green industries means economies striving for a more sustainable pathway of growth by undertaking green public investments and implementing public policy initiatives that encourage environmentally responsible private investments. 23rd question, is India ready to join as a mission partner to the International Center for Antimicrobial Resistance Solution, ICARS, with Denmark? Yes, recently Prime Minister has visited Germany and Denmark uh, and even France and made agreements with all these three nations. Okay, so when it comes to Germany, they partnered with uh, de for the development of green and sustainable energy and here they partnered with the mission for the International Center for Antimicrobial Resistance Solution with Denmark. So, with France, we'll study in the upcoming lectures questions. Now, the 24th question, what is meant by green transition? So, the green transition refers to the social change strategy that will allow us to turn the current environmentally unsustainable global situation into a new sustainable global environment. 25th question, what is blue economy? So it is a sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, improved livelihoods and jobs and ocean ecosystem health. 26th question, what are sustainable development goals? It is a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. The sustainable development goals were set up in 2015 by the United Nations General Assembly and are intended to be achieved by 2030. 27th question, what is meant by foreign direct investment? So the foreign direct investment, that is FDI, is when a company takes controlling ownership in a business entity in other country. 28th question, what are the main objectives of Stockholm Convention? So its objective is to protect human health and environment from persistent organic pollutants. 29th question, what is the Sagar Mala project? So it aims to port infrastructure development along the 7516 kilometer long coastline through modernization, mechanization and computerization. 30th question, which is the biggest port in India? It is the Mumbai port. 31st question, Human Development Index is released by? It is released by World Bank. Now, 32nd question, are there any Nordic countries in the top 10 of the Human Development Index? Yes, we have Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland and Iceland. All these five Nordic countries stop the Human Development Index. 33rd question, what is meant by financial inclusion? So here the financial inclusion means that the individuals and businesses have access to useful and affordable financial products and services that meet their needs, that is transactions, payments, savings, credit and insurance, delivered in a responsible and sustainable way. 34th question, name a few schemes which provide financial inclusion in India. So we have few schemes, some of the, those are Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana, Atal Pension Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Vaya Vandana Yojana, Stand Up India Scheme, Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana, Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana and Jeevan Suraksha Bandhan Yojana. So all these are some of the schemes which are related to financial inclusion in India. 
Now, thirty-fifth question: What is meant by five G? So, the fifth generation wireless, that is the five G, is the latest cellular technology. Unlike four G, which requires large, high-power cell towers to radiate signals over longer distances. 5G wireless signals are transmitted through large number of small cell stations located on places like light poles or building roofs. Thirty-sixth question: What is meant by cellular technology? So here, the cellular technology enables mobile communication because they use a complex two-way radio system between the mobile unit and the wireless network. It uses radio frequencies, that is, radio channels, over and over again throughout a market with minimal interference to serve a large number of simultaneous conversations. Thirty seventh question: What is the major difference between four G and five G? So the biggest difference between four G and five G is latency. Latency means delay in transfer of data. Okay, so the five G promises low latency under five milliseconds, while the four G latency ranges from sixty milliseconds to ninety-eight milliseconds. Thirty-eighth question: Who releases the ease of doing business reports? It is the World Bank. Thirty-ninth question: What are the main objectives of Semicon India program? So here. uh building the overall semi semiconductor ecosystems and ensuring india's rapidly expanding electronics manufacturing and innovative ecosystems 40th question what is the aim of semicon india program so it aims to provide financial support to companies investing in semiconductor display manufacturing and design ecosystems 41st question what is the india semicon mission So it is an independent business division within Digital India Corporation to formulate and drive India's long-term strategies for developing semiconductor and display manufacturing and semiconductor design ecosystems. For the second question, what do you mean by photonic systems? So this term is often used for optical communication systems. Now for the third question, what is silicon photonics? So silicon photon photonics is actually used in semiconductors. So sil silicon photonics is the study and application of photonic systems which use silicon as an optical medium. For the fourth question, what is deployment linked incentives? So it aims to provide financial and infrastructural support to companies setting up fabs or semiconductor making plants in India. it aims to attract existing and global players as it will support their expenditures related to design software development testing and deployment etc 45th question at present which countries dominate the sale of semiconductors it is us taiwan south korea japan and netherlands 46th question what is article 44 it is related to the uniform code of conduct For the seventh question, which under which list of seventh schedule does marriage, divorce, adoption, and succession are included? So it is under the concurrent list. Both state and central government can legislate it. For the eighth question, what are the Supreme Court's views in Shabano case with respect to Uniform Code of Conduct? So common civil code would help the cause. of national integration by removing disparate disparate loyalties to laws having conflicting ideologies 49th question what are the functions of law commission so the commission's functions is to research and advise the government of india on legal reform and is composed of legal experts and headed by a retired judge The commission is established for a fixed tenure and works as an advisory body to the Ministry of Law and Justice. Now the 50th question is the right to freedom of religion mentioned in the constitution? Yes, it is mentioned under article 25. 51st question is uniform civil code of conduct against article 25? It is not against article 25 but the scope of freedom of religion will be reduced if the uniform code of conduct is established 
ఫిఫ్టీ సెకండ్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఆపరేషన్ గంగా సో ఇట్స్ అ రెస్క్యూ ఆపరేషన్ డన్ బై ఇండియా టు ఎవాక్యుయేట్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఇండియన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ యుక్రెయిన్ ఫిఫ్టీ థర్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ విచ్ కంట్రీస్ డిగ్రీస్ విల్ నో లాంగర్ బీ ఎలిజిబుల్ ఫర్ ఫర్దర్ స్టడీస్ అండ్ జాబ్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియా యాజ్ పర్ ఆర్ యూనియన్ గవర్నమెంట్స్ డెసిషన్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ పాకిస్తాన్ ఓకే ద పాకిస్తాన్స్ డిగ్రీస్ విల్ నో లాంగర్ బీ ఎలిజిబుల్ ఫర్ ఫర్దర్ స్టడీస్ అండ్ జాబ్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్త్ క్వశ్చన్ వై ఆర్ ఇండియన్ మెడికల్ యాస్పిరెంట్స్ గోయింగ్ అబ్రాడ్ టు స్టడీ మెడిసిన్ సో యాజ్ పర్ నేషనల్ మెడికల్ కమిషన్ దెర్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ నైంటీ సిక్స్ మెడికల్ కాలేజెస్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ ఎయిటీ ఎయిట్ థౌజండ్ వన్ ట్వంటీ సీట్స్ అవైలబుల్ సో ద మెడికల్ యాస్పిరెంట్స్ ఆర్ మోర్ దాన్ ద సీట్స్ అవైలబుల్ సో ద ఇండియన్ యాస్పిరెంట్స్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ అబ్రాడ్ టు స్టడీ మెడిసిన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫిఫ్త్ క్వశ్చన్ విచ్ కంట్రీస్ ఆర్ ద టాప్ త్రీ డెస్టినేషన్స్ ఫర్ ఆర్ ఇండియన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ యాజ్ ఆఫ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ ద ఫస్ట్ ప్లేస్ గోస్ టు యుఎస్ సెకండ్ ఇస్ కెనడా అండ్ ద థర్డ్ హైయెస్ట్ ఈజ్ యుఏఈ ఫిఫ్టీ సిక్స్త్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద మెజర్స్ దట్ క్యాన్ బీ టేకెన్ టు రెడ్యూస్ ద ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ స్టడీయింగ్ అబ్రాడ్ సో బై రిఫార్మింగ్ అండ్ రిఫైనింగ్ ఇండియన్ హయ్యర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ సిస్టమ్ బై అలవింగ్ ఫారెన్ యూనివర్సిటీస్ టు సెటప్ క్యాంపసెస్ ఇన్ ఇండియా and 57th question what is the hottest planet in the solar system it is venus 58th question what is the h47 chinook it is a heavy lift helicopter 59th question recently which organization declared that india's poverty level has declined it is world bank and international monetary fund 68th question in india by which organization is the poverty and inequality survey conducted it is conducted under national sample survey organization 61st question what is gini coefficient gini coefficient is a statistical measure of economic inequality in a population 62nd question bokta community is found in which state it is found in jharkhand 63rd question what is gagan gagan means gps aided geo augmented navigation it is an air navigation system developed by isro and air authority of india aviation authority of india 64th question which act was brought to restrict misuse and diversion of foreign funds and infuse more accountability in functioning of ngos it is the foreign contribution regulation act 2020 65th question which panchayat area became first india's carbon neutral panchayat it is palli in jammu and kashmir 66th question what is a cruise missile a cruise missile is an aerial vehicle designed to attack a fixed target it spends most of its flight at a level elevation and follows a programmed pre-programmed path to impact cruise missiles are powered by jet engines 67th question who designed the anti ship version of brahmos and what is its importance so it is a joint venture of india and russia its importance is to produce it produces a supersonic cruise missiles that can be launched from submarines ships or aircrafts and land platforms so it is aircraft or land platforms Now the 68th question is what is the objective of Gram Urja Swaraj program so the objective of the campaign is to promote social harmony spread awareness about pre poor pro poor initiatives of government reach out to the poor households to enroll them as also to obtain their feedback on various welfare programs 69th question malaria is caused by it is caused by female anopheles mosquito 70th question what is pradhan mantri sangrahalaya it aimed at sensitizing and educating the younger generation about the leadership vision and achievement of all prime ministers 71st question what is the first made in indian in india commercial flight it is dornier 228s 72nd question vakshire a submarine of project 75 is named after it is named after a sandwich sandfish 73rd question what is the significance of vakshire sandfish 
it is a deadly sea predator of indian ocean 74th question what is an l route server so this route has been installed by the state government in association with the internet corporation of for assigned names and numbers 75th question which state became the first state to get the l route server it is rajasthan 76th question what is the significance of l route server it will ensure uninterrupted delivery and digital services to common people and bring transparency and efficiency in operations 77th question what is the significance of ayush visa so it is a <clears throat> special visa category to ease the visa process for foreign travelers wishing to avail medical treatment in india and are medical tourist 78th question what is dhwani it is uh, it is dudwani okay it is a country's first radio for cattle breeders 79 question as per 2022 happiness survey which country is the happiest which state is the happiest in india okay it is uh, please correct it it is a state okay so himachal pradesh is the happiest state in india now as per 2022 happiness survey which state is the saddest it is uttar pradesh 81st question who conducts a happiness survey in india it is hr firm 82nd question which type of guidelines is suitable for highland areas of equatorial region it is plantation agriculture 83rd question what was the theme of the world water day 2022 it is ground water making the invisible visible 84th question which country has been ranked the world's noisiest city on the UNEP's annual frontier report 2022 it is dhaka 85th question name the study of cells is known as it is known as cytology 86th question who clinched the all england open badminton women singles title 2022 it is akane yamaguchi from japan 87th question stones in gall bladder mainly affect the digestion of it affects the digestion of fat 88th question niacin is a chemical name of it is a chemical name of b3 89th question the brusikova national park and biosphere reserve is located at it is located at assam 90th question what is the consumer pyramids household survey It is an annual survey conducted by the Center for Monitoring the Indian Economy to provide the estimates of how poverty and inequality has evolved since 2011. 91st question is light pollution a threat to migratory birds? Yes. 92nd question what is light pollution? Light pollution is the presence of unwanted, inappropriate and or excessive artificial lightning. 93rd question what is e mitra e mitra is an e governance initiative of government of rajasthan which is being implemented in all 33 districts of state using public private partnership model 94th question what is martian soil martian soil is a fine soil found on the surface of mars 95th question the bricks made of martian soil are developed by isro and iisc these bricks are called these are called space bricks 96th question is north korea under a blank black list of fatf that is financial action task force yes north korea is in black list 97th question which country is the world's biggest producer and exporter of palm oil it is indonesia 98th question what is the rank of india in 2022 military strength ranking it is fourth 99th question which country has the world's longest glass bottom bridge it is vietnam 100th question recently the pandava guhe or the cave of pandavas was discovered in which state it is discovered in the karnataka so the next 100 questions will be discussing in the next series Thank you for watching if you like it do subscribe it thank you